Hey guys, my name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. Today we're looking at three different breathalyzers, a product that is able to help you determine what your blood alcohol content is. Now the reason why this product might be helpful to you is because maybe you've been over at somebody's house, hanging out with some friends, you've had a few drinks, and you don't know if maybe you should be hopping in the car just yet. Well, these products, you can obviously breathe into them. They will tell you right on your smartphone whether or not you should be driving or not. And it'll also give you kind of a time estimate as to when you'll be sober enough to drive. Hey guys, quickly before we get into the video, I just want to ask you to put in the comments below what social network you guys prefer to use, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I'm on all three of those, so be sure to check out the links in the description below. I'd love to interact with you guys on social media, so let me know in the comments below where you guys are at. So a couple of nights ago, I enlisted the help of my wife, Amber. We were in the safe confines of my home and uh, we had a couple of drinks and then we used these breathalyzers to test them out to see how accurate they were. Now, one of the things that should be noted is that between the drink and the time in which you blow into the breathalyzer, you have to wait about 15 or 20 minutes, otherwise it will throw off the results. So obviously for the purposes of this uh, review, we're not able to, show all of that time frame but between every time that we drank and every time that we used the breathalyzers we waited 20 minutes so you're going to see that progression here on this review and get to determine for yourself whether or not these products are accurate and consistent enough to be something that would be helpful to you uh, to help determine you know whether or not you should be driving or how long you should be waiting until you get behind the wheel so first up is the backtrack mobile smartphone breathalyzer connects to your phone via bluetooth and this retails for right around $100. Next up is the Breathometer Breeze. This also is a wireless Bluetooth device that retails for about $100. And then last is the Breathometer, the smartphone breathalyzer that connects through the uh, headphone jack on your phone. The two that connect via Bluetooth are a lot more than the one that connects via the headphone jack. And we'll find out if that price difference uh, makes any difference at all in the results and accuracy. So we wanted to make sure that the base reading showed 0% blood alcohol content. So Amber uh, tried out all three devices before we started a drink to show that these devices don't yield false results. So I started with three ounces or three drinks and Amber started with one ounce or one drink. I tried the Breathometer Breeze first and that spit back what appeared to be accurate numbers 0 0.02 for three drinks. I then tried the plug-in version of the breathometer, and that also seems to be fairly accurate, 0 0.03 for three drinks. And then lastly, the Backtrack Mobile, which ended up being seemingly the most accurate, and it spit back 0 0.022 for three drinks. And then it was Amber's turn, and uh, she tried the breathometer breeze first as well, and her results came back zero. So there was obviously some sort of problem going on there. Uh, 0 0.01 with one drink for the breathometer plug-in, and then 0 0.013 for the Backtrack Mobile. I had two more drinks and Amber had one more drink, so I was up to five drinks, getting a 0 0.037 with the Backtrack, and then getting 0 0.02 with the Breathometer Breeze, which obviously wasn't probably accurate, and then 0 0.031 with the Breathometer, which was showing fairly consistent and good results. Amber at two drinks was showing nearly the same intoxication levels that I was at five drinks, which makes sense because obviously she's a lot smaller than I am. So this time Amber's breath, plug in breathometer showed only 0 0.02 for two drinks, which was probably not accurate. And then her breathometer breeze results showed 0 0.028 for two drinks, which was probably more accurate. So in all our testing, the Backtrack Mobile breathalyzer seemed to give the most consistent and best results. Uh, next was the plug-in breathometer. It only messed up on us seemingly one time. And then the most inconsistent of all of them was the breathometer breeze, the Bluetooth version. So this is a great piece of tech to keep either in your purse or in your glove box and to prevent you from doing something stupid like drinking and driving. Hey guys, my name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.